Live from Los Angeles, it's theCUBE. Covering Open Source Summit North America 2017. Brought to you by the Linux Foundation and Red Hat. Hello everyone, welcome back to our live coverage, the Cube's live coverage of the Open Source Summit in North America as part of the Linux Foundation. I'm John Furrier, your host, with Stu Miniman, analyst with Gimon, co-host, our next guest is Ken Maybach, she was an IBM honorary cloud advisor, algorithmist, uh, former Cube alumni, great to see you. Thank you very much, glad to be here. every year, <laughs> I mean, it's what, three years ago, two years ago? I believe, yeah, two, two years, years ago, Interconnect 2016. <laughs> IBM show, doing a lot of great stuff, you're now an IBM, um, uh, VIP, you're doing a lot of work with them. <laughs> IBM Thank champion, you. congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. What's Absolutely new? Great. You been pushing any code today? Definitely. Now today, uh, getting ready, you know, for my BLF that I've got tonight. Uh, it's been absolutely great, and I've been working on a lot of new projects that I'm going to be talking about today and tomorrow at my keynote. Uh, like I've been working on Ask Tanme, of course, you know, Interconnect 2016, very first time I presented Ask Tanme. Since then, a lot has changed. Uh, I've incorporated real deep learning algorithms, custom with TensorFlow, uh, into Ask Tanme. Uh, Ask Tanme now thinks about what it's actually looking at. Uh, using Watson as well. It's really interesting. And of course, new projects that I'm working on, including Deep Spade, uh, which actually uh, basically helps online communities uh, to detect uh, and of course report and flag spam uh, from different websites, like for example, Stack Overflow, which I'm working on right now. So you're doing some deep learning stuff yes. with IBM Watson, team, everything exactly, else. Exactly, yes. What's the coolest thing you've worked on since we last talked? <laughs> well, it would have to be a tie between, say, uh, Ask Tan May, Deep Spade, and Advancement with the Cognitive Story. Uh, as you know from last time I've been working on lots of interesting projects like with Ask Tanme, uh, some great new updates that you'll hear about today. Uh, Deep Spade itself though, I'd like to get a little bit more into that. Uh, there's actually, I mean of course everyone listening right now is used Stack Overflow or Stack Exchange at one point in their lives. Uh, and so uh, they've, they've probably noticed that uh, a little bit you know, here and there you'd see a spam message on Stack Overflow in a comment or a post. Uh, and of course there are methods uh, to try and prevent spam on Stack Overflow, but they aren't very effective. And that's why a group of programmers known as Charcoal SE, actually went ahead and started creating uh, basically the suite to try and uh, prevent spam uh, on Stack Exchange. And they call it Smoke Detector. Uh, and it helps them uh, to find and remove spam on Stack Exchange. It's, like it's, it's so good until it goes off and the battery needs to be replaced <laughs> and you got to get on a chair. Yeah, but this whole Smoke uh, Detector, this is a real way to help create a good, healthy community. Yes, exactly. So they try and basically find spam reports to moderators, and if enough alarms are set off, they try and report it or flag it automatically uh, via other people's accounts. And so basically what I'm trying to do is, I mean, a few weeks ago when I found out about what they're doing, I found out that they use uh, regular expressions to try and find spam. And so they have you know, years of, of people you know, gathering experience, they're experts in this field, and they keep you know, adding more regular expressions uh, to try and find spam. And since I you know, am really, really passionate about deep learning, I thought why not uh, try and help them out, try and augment this sort of smoke detector uh, with deep learning. And so they graciously uh, Dennis, donated their data set to me, uh, which has a good amount of training uh, training rows for me to actually train a deep learning system to classify a post between spam or non-spam. Uh, and you'll be hearing a lot more about the model architecture, the CNN plus GRU model that I've got running in Karas uh, tonight uh, during my Now BOS. machine learning could be a real benefit to spam detection because the patterns. Exactly. Spammers tend to have their own patterns, exactly. as do bots. Yes, exactly. Exactly, and eventually you realize that, hey, uh, maybe we're not using the same words in every post, but there's a specific pattern of words, or there's a, sp a specific type of word uh, that always appears in the spam message, and machine learning would help us combat against that. And of course, in this case, maybe we don't actually have a word or a specific website or a specific phone number that would trigger a regular expression alarm, uh, but in the context that this website appears, uh, machine learning can tell us that, hey, yeah, this is probably a spam post. Yeah. So there are lots of really interesting places where machine learning can tie in with this and help out with the accuracy. In fact, I've been able to reach around 98% accuracy and around 15,000 testing rows. So I'm very glad of the results so far and of course I'm continuing to do all this parameter tuning and everything. All right, so how old are you this year? I just be at the numbers straight. Are you 13, 14? <laughs> uh, well, originally at Interconnect 2016, uh, I was 12, but now I'm 13 years old okay. and I'm going to be 14 in October, October 16th. Okay, so you're <laughs> knocking on 14. Uh, not yeah. just yet, Mary. Hitting, I will be 14 soon. Right. So, so Tanmay, uh, you're 14, your time's done. 
uh, <laughs> at this point, but one of your missions, uh, to, to be serious, is helping to inspire the next generation, yes. especially here at the Open Source Summit. Yes. Why don't you to talk a little bit, give us a preview of what we're going to see in your keynote. Sure, definitely. Uh, now, as you mentioned, in fact, I actually have a goal, uh, which is really to reach out to and help 100,000 aspiring coders uh, along their journey of learning to code, uh, and of course, then applying that code in lots of different fields. In fact, I'm actually uh, already around 4,500 people there, uh, which I'm very, very excited about. Uh, but today, during my BOF, as I mentioned, I'm going to be talking a lot about the in-depth of the Deep Spade and Ask Tanway projects I've been working on. Uh, but tomorrow, during my keynote, you'll be hearing a lot uh, about generally all the projects that I've been working on and how they're impacting lots of different fields, uh, like healthcare, utility, security, uh, via artificial intelligence and machine learning. Yeah, so when you first talked to us about Ask Tanmay, it's been what, almost yes. 18 months, I, uh, yeah, I, I think I, there. I assume, yeah. what, what's changed, what's <laughs> accelerating? I hear you throw out things like TensorFlow, yes, not something yes. we were talking about two years ago. Yeah. What, what, what have been some of the key learnings you've had as you've really dug yeah, into this? Yeah, sure. Uh, in fact, this is actually something that I'm covering tonight, and that is that Ask Tanmay, you could say that it's DNA. I mean, what it evolved from Ask MSR that was made in 2002, and I took that, revived it, and basically convert, made it into Ask Tanmay. Uh, in its DNA, they there were specific elements, uh, like for example, it really relies on data redundancy. Uh, if there's no data redundancy, then Ask Tammy doesn't do well. If you were to ask it where it was, where's the Open Source Summit in North America going to be held, uh, I wouldn't answer correctly because it's not redundant enough on the internet. It's mentioned once or twice, but not more than that. Um, and so I learned that you know it's it's not it's currently very I guess you could say naive in terms of how it actually understands the data that it's uh, that it's collecting. Uh, however, over the past I'd say around six to seven months, uh, I've been able to implement uh, BIDAF or bi-directional uh, attention flow. That's what was created by Allen AI. It's uh, completely open source, and it uses something that's called the Squad data set or Stanford Question and Answer data set uh, in order to actually take paragraphs and questions and try to return answers as snippets from the paragraphs. And so again. Integrated with Ask Tanmay, uh, this allows me to really reduce the data redundancy requirement. I'm able to merge very similar answers to have you know, better answers at the top of the list. Uh, and of course, I'm able to have it more smart. It's not as naive. It actually understands the content that it's gathering from search engines. Uh, for example, Google and Bing, uh, which I've also added support, search support for. Uh, so a, again, a lot has changed uh, using deep learning, but still, sort of the key points of Ask Tanmay requires very little computational power, uh, case very, very cross-platform, runs on any operating system, including iOS, Android, et cetera. Um, and of course, from there, open source completely on So how has your life changed since all the, you've been really in the spotlight and, and well deserved. I think it's been great Thank to you. have you uh, on theCUBE multiple times. Thanks for coming Thank on. You. No, Thank you, definitely, Dave of was just calling, wants to get on, ask you a few questions himself. Dave, <laughs> if you're watching, you know, we'll get you on. Just call right now. Um, <laughs> Thank you. What's going on, how do you, what are you going to do when, are you like happy right now? Are you you're cool with everything? Or is there a point where you say, hey, I want to play a little bit with different tools, we want more freedom, what's going on? <laughs> oh, well, you see, right now I'm very, very excited. I'm very happy with what I'm doing because of course, I mean, my life generally has changed, I mean, quite a bit since uh, last Interconnect, you could say, from Interconnect 2016 to 17 uh, to now. Uh, of course, since then I've been able to, you know, go into lots of different fields. Like, not only am I working with general deep learning and IBM Watson, now I'm working with lots of different tools. You know, I'm working especially uh, in terms of like, for example, Linux, what I've been doing uh, with like open source and everything. I've been able to create, uh, for example, Ask 10, now integrates Keras and TensorFlow. Uh, Deep Spade is actually built entirely off of TensorFlow and Keras. Uh, and now I've also been able to venture into lots of different APIs as well, not just you know with IBM Watson, also uh, things like um, we've got the Dandelion API which Ask Tanmay also relies off of Dandelion, uh, providing text similarity services for semantic and syntactic text similarity, uh, which again, we'll be talking about tonight as well. Right. Uh, so yeah, lots has changed, and of course, with all this you know, sort of um, new stuff that I'm able to share, or new media through which I'm able to share my knowledge, like for example, all these you know, Cube, uh, uh, Cube interviews I've been doing, and of course, all yeah. these keynotes, I'm able to really spread my message about AI, why I believe it's not only our future, but also our present. Like for example, I, I also mentioned this last time, uh, if you were to just open up your phone right now, you already see that your half of your phone is powered by AI. Uh, it's detecting that hey, you're you're at uh, your home right now. You just drove back from work, and it's this it's this time uh, on this day. So you probably want to open up this application. It predicts that and provides you with that. Uh, apart from that, things like Siri, Google Now, these are all powered by AI. They're already integral part of our lives, uh, and of course, what they're going to be doing in our lives to come is just absolutely great. With like healthcare, uh, providing uh, artificial communication ability to people who can't communicate naturally. I think it's going to be really, really 
really interesting. Tammy, always great to have you on theCUBE. Congratulations. Ask Thank Tammy, you very good much. projects. Let's stay in touch uh, as we start doing some more collaboration. Love to keep promoting your work. Great job, <laughs> and you're an inspiration to many. Thank you very much. Thanks Glad to be here. On live coverage from the Open Source Summit at theCUBE in Los Angeles. I'm John Furrier, Stu Miniman. We'll be back with more live coverage after this short break.